What's up guys? Guess what? I bought a dog. Isn't she cute? So guys, it's Taylor Timothy and today we're going to be talking about online marketing pay structures. So there's a bunch of different ways out there that you guys can charge people, make money doing online marketing. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. First one we're going to be talking about is a retainer. So what is a retainer? No, it's not that thing you put in your mouth to keep your teeth straight. A retainer is basically a monthly payment that the client pays you for doing your services. So whether you're running Facebook ads, YouTube ads, SEO, the list goes on and on of what you're doing for him. But that's one of the common ones is a retainer. Now the pros to a retainer is obviously you're going to be getting a monthly income coming in. So you're gonna sign a contract, basically they're gonna pay you X amount of dollars per month and you're gonna make money doing those services. Now one of the cons to the retainer, which it doesn't sound like there is a lot of cons, but one of the things that I have found talking with other marketers as well is if you don't set proper expectations, a lot of times this causes conflict when you are set up on a retainer. So just make sure guys, when you guys are setting up retainers to set up proper expectations with your clients. The second one we're gonna talk about is cost per result. So one of the more competitive ways if you guys wanna make a lot of money is proving that you can actually generate leads and sales and back it up with your results. Sometimes people will set up their contract basically stating that I don't make money if you don't make money. So a lot of times people will set these up and a lot of times you can make a lot of money doing this right up front. So cost per result is one of the ways that I've found that people do online marketing pay structures. So obviously one of the big pros is you can make a lot of money, but one of the cons to this is if you're not good at online marketing, guess what? You don't make any money. That's the reality to the cost per result. It's high risk, high reward. So go out there and realize that, that cost per result is gonna be a high risk, but it can potentially make you a lot of money. The next thing I wanna talk about is percentage of ad spend. So basically how percentage of ad spend works is if a company comes to you and says, hey, I wanna spend $100,000, basically you can say, well, I charge 10 to 15% on ad spend. So you'll make 10,000 to $15,000 a month according to their budget. So now one of the big pros is if they have big budgets, you can make a lot of money right up front with this client. So the bigger the budget, the more money you make. Now one of the cons is if they come to you and they say, hey, I only have a thousand bucks a month, well, now you're only gonna make like 100 to 150 bucks a month. Not that lucrative. So guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Those are the three things. Basically, a recap, retainer, cost per result, and percentage of ad spend. Just so you guys know, I've also heard of other people doing that and mixing and matching. So they'll do a small retainer with a cost per result tied in, or they'll do a retainer with the ad spend amount tied in. So go out there, figure out what works best for you guys, and... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to hear more about online marketing and things like that, or if I missed something in this video, post in the comments below. Other than that, guys, don't forget to go over and check out my online marketing course. Basically, it's going to teach you guys from start to finish how to do online marketing, how to run Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and better yet, how to scale your business through paid advertising. Other than that, peace.